have a story for you. So, we were in bed last night. <laughs> this is literally like gonna be the chronicles of City Girl moving to the country. So we were in bed last night. We finally got into bed. We are sitting down and I can see the thing the size of my fist, like balled up, just sprint into the room. And I'm like sitting there, like my brain's trying to process. I'm like, a cockroach can't be that big. Like that's a big cockroach. All of a sudden, my biggest fears in the whole entire world happened. And I realized it's probably a mouse or like a rat or something and I screamed so loud Bryson woke up he woke up terrified because he saw me terrified and I was trying to stay calm but I couldn't it like ran behind the door and Sanders like Renee stopped freaking out like how am I supposed to get this I'm like I don't fucking know but I'm not staying here like we're getting a hotel like this is not happening he got the broom and he's like do you want me to kill it I'm like no you can't kill an animal like I don't like that something you should know about me so I'm petrified of rats i don't know what it is like i was telling xander i'd rather eat a live cockroach than just simply see like a mouse or a rat the fact that it was even in an enclosed area around me i literally blacked out like i was dripping sweat all over my back i was panicking like i couldn't stay calm for my son like it was bad so he ended up getting the broom and just sweeping it into the little like dustpan and then putting it out putting him outside he's like welcome to the country like you gotta get used to this stuff i'm like that's not normal but i think because we had the doors and the garage open all day while we were moving things in and out like both doors were just completely wide open all day so i'm pretty sure that's how we got in like i really hope we don't have like a a past situation that would be very bad for me i don't know what it is i'm just i have like this huge fear of them but anyway um i have a lot to do today I finished up editing my video this morning, got that up for you guys. So we have Vlogmas Day 1, we're officially on Vlogmas Day 2, and I have a lot of crates to figure out. The goal today is just empty the crates, like I just need to get those crates emptied. I'm literally wearing the same outfit just because this is the only long sleeve I packed. I, we were in Mexico mode when we were packing. We're like living kind of chaotically right now. I don't know how I'm surviving vlogmas but we're doing it. So I'm gonna um, finish up putting on my face and then we can figure out like we're just gonna unpack today. It's gonna be kind of a simple day but like a lot to do. I'm gonna start with Bryson's room and I'm just gonna like honestly unpack as much as I can and just clean. I did Bryson's room. Yeah. What should I tackle next? I could do the kitchen. I could do our bedroom. Master. Okay, Set up our bed. Yeah, I'll do our clothes and stuff. 27 degrees today. Mm-hmm. need to get a celsius i'm dying we don't have any coffee or anything in the house i ordered nespresso so that should be coming in the next few days but i don't think i've been this tired in a very long time so i need to run to the gas station real quick and get that i pretty much unpacked like all of our clothing boxes and all of bryson's boxes which is great i don't have a place for anything i'm not organizing i'm literally just throwing things out of the box i'm actually getting a lot done believe it or not but i was looking in the closet the carpet that is upstairs is really really old like it definitely needs to be replaced inside the closet it looks like the carpet is actually coming up like in the corners and i was wondering there's our pup earl earl just hanging out he's like the neighborhood dog his name is not earl we gotta figure out his name i'm pretty sure he's our neighbor's dog i'm like sitting here debating like how easy is it to replace carpet and flooring yourself like as a beginner is that attainable for me but you know how like sometimes you watch like diys and it looks so easy and then you do it and you're like what the this is so hard is it manageable can i replace the floors i would love to do like as soon as possible because the floors are pretty bad okay i'm at the gas station i got my celsius i was at the light and someone rolls down the window and they're like beeping i'm like is something wrong with my car roll the window down and this guy's like in his southern draw welcome to the neighborhood 
I'm blah 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 and where y'all from? Talking about the neighborhood dog, apparently that is the state trooper's dog. Like just <laughs> so funny, like this small town. I feel like even yesterday in the grocery store, someone noticed that we were not from here and they were like, made a comment and it's so funny, the small town feel and like, I went into the gas station and she's calling me ma'am and oh my God, so lovely. All right, this is gonna bring me back to life and then we will continue. Even just that one sip, I'm like, you can tell the difference in my energy level. Hey buddy. Hey. 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 You're so sweet. appliances they clean for you so this is a lot i pretty much did everything i just need to clean the shower and i'm gonna like get on my hands and knees before i shower tonight and like clean that but i don't feel like getting all wet right now but everything is clean in here looks nice and fresh clean the uh cabin tree and everything like that so i'm gonna go ahead and put all of our stuff that belongs in the bathroom in the drawers and get that kind of organized there are so many outlets and like switches in this place like what does that go to it's like way up here but there's nothing that like i don't know there's like so much but like what goes in a bathroom besides a light and a fan i don't know all right it's coming together i got my salt rock lamp on my soap and then a candle but this side is going to be mine so i've got the top drawer of like skincare oral care just like typical hygiene hair care perfume tanning like kind of getting ready my makeup will go here this bottom drawer are just hair tools and just tanning and more like self-care kind of stuff and then this down here is just more hair care any surplus of like bulk items my nail stuff um and then this is going to be sander's side so there's nothing in there yet we are making progress which i love i ended up cleaning up Bryson's bath. So now we all can just take a shower. Look how cute Bryson looks. Look at his outfit. You see the candy canes? Oh my goodness, you're so cute. We have coffee this morning. So excited. I didn't know that Target sold Nespresso pods or even Starbucks Nespresso pods for that matter. I think I'm going to tackle the kitchen because it's kind of annoying to not have a useful kitchen right now. I found my jacket. <laughs> Clearly. Okay, here's the before. I think what I'm going to do first is clear off all of the counter spaces and then do a deep clean of all the insides of the cabinets and then we will unbox. That took so long, but it's so worth it. I actually feel like it's all coming together. I was extremely overwhelmed, honestly, when I moved into here, because I'm like, there's a lot of work to do. It's a big home. Like I'm used to like work, but with like one or two bedroom apartments in a city. So having like so much to do, and so many ideas and plans, it was extremely overwhelming. And honestly, I was getting a little bit uncomfortable because <laughs> I'm like, even Z walked in, he was like, the walls are bluer than I remembered. Not seeing all their furniture together and all the leaves, you know, out in the patio instead of the green grass that we saw. Like, I, I honestly got a little scared and it's a big project to take on, especially when you're cleaning like older cupboards and stuff. 
I'm just, this sounds so privileged and it really is, but I'm just so used to those like clean, like new, fresh. The last two apartments I lived in were all brand new. Like no one had lived in them before. So it's just this weird transition and that like I want to do the kitchen. I have ideas for the kitchen, but it's such a financial burden to have to re renovate a kitchen that we honestly can't do right now. I was like, how am I going to live in this? And, like I was just getting these weird feelings. But once you clean it up, like it's so crazy how just a simple sweep up and clean really refreshes the space. So I feel like I added years to the kitchen just by cleaning it. I dug in there. I was like terrified though that a rat was gonna pop up. I found a cricket, but like that's it. But every time I opened up a drawer, I was like looking around. I'm like, oh my God, oh, this is so scary. But yeah, it's all clean and I feel like I, I feel homey. Like I feel like the kitchen will work. Like it doesn't need to be redone right now as I was thinking when I walked in and I was like, oh my God, I can't live like this. It's a beautiful kitchen. Like once it's clean, like just cleaning up the space, like even dusting, doing the floors, wiping up all the dust and the baseboards, it adds life to the space. So I feel really good. I don't feel as like intimidated with the kitchen now that it's clean. We actually ended up putting our bed together too last night. I think the next like big task that we're gonna have to accomplish is the closet, but I'm gonna do that another time because I really don't feel like tackling that right now. But I think what I can do is move our dresser like shifted over to the middle. And Xander's on a call, by the way. I wanna show you guys the drawers and stuff because it's so satisfying for me in terms of organization of what I did with the actual kitchen, but he's on a call in there, so I have to wait. Probably later I'll show you guys. If you guys are long-term subscribers, you know what I'm about to do, but I'm about to show you guys a cleaning hack that is so quick. It's so satisfying. All you need is a dryer sheet. This looks so bad, but watch this. Like it just takes on all of the dust. Looks brand new. I just did the whole entire trim along the bedroom. You know you're home when you plug in Alexa. All right, so here's the new clean kitchen. It really like made such a difference, even the floors. So we have these sliding drawers here. It's gonna be our coffee, tea. This is our baking stuff. Down here, this drawer is actually like kind of hard to pull out, but it's just more baking stuff. We've got some vinegar, extra olive oil back there. And this cabinet up here, we actually have a pantry. What is life? Organized rice and breads, pastas. We've got snacks, canned goods, oats and cereals. We've got some peanut butter jam. We have not done our big grocery shop because we are currently living out of this fridge. This is actually a microwave and I cleaned this, but this is one of the things I want in my new kitchen when we like build it, is an appliance garage. So this is kind of similar to that. I'm pretty sure, that, oh no, this is not empty. These are like little slots. So I put like the stove pans and the cutting boards. That was actually really cool. All of our appliances out, we'll have our fruit bowl here. I can't find it, it's in a box. This is gonna be plates and bowls. <laughs> my son's going crazy. Um, this is our silverware. We've got Bryson's, how cute is his? Um, this is a very interesting drawer. <laughs> we have basically our cooking stuff here. This goes pretty far in there and it's empty. Like we just have so much space. This is gonna be our cups and coffee mugs and stuff. What's in here? Oh, these are our spices. This one is also a very interesting one, but they have these rotating drawers here. So we have our pots here. And then the one across from it over here is our um, pans. This is more cooking stuff. Ziplocs and these, more cooking stuff. Up here, I, I think it's like empty. Yeah, it's pretty empty. Again, we just have so much space. And then this is Tupperware and Bryson stuff. Our nanny brought us flowers. I thought that was so sweet. So we finally found some scissors to put up the flowers and it looks really good. Got the candle going. Over here we've got a random drawer and these are pretty much empty. And then we have our glasses for like alcohol and stuff over here. So it looks good. Thank you. 